Welcome, welcome to part two of our Let's Play in Tunisia Real Politics. Well, let's play. Let us continue with playing this game. Uh, so we did pretty well last time. We still got high unemployment, unfortunately. But we are doing some things to increase that, as well as building infrastructure. Sometimes we get negative GDP as well, which is unfortunate. Do not show that again. There we are. Unfortunately, it's mainly projects and investments that are causing us problems. But we have got so many benefits in terms of our GDP, like interventionalism. We have got a bit of taxes. The world economy is sinking, the economic development is proving, basic infrastructure, and uh, we just got the uh, education industry cooperation as well, which is nice. Now, I do want to do something for taxes. There we are. Nothing, okay. <laughs> Great. No, that's a bit too much stuff. Yep, let's go for this one. Then. Okay, let's uh, let's continue. We are going to be slowly losing money due to the fact that we can't tax anybody else. And we're down a bit because of projects. Okay, so Spain's looking to be a little bit war waristic. Yeah. I'm fine with having some benefits with some countries. I feel like that would be a very nice benefit. Because now we've got a bit of money to allow us to uh, do some stuff. New proposition from the UN. What does that do? Increase global unhappiness for provinces with foreign cultures and civilizations. We've got micro loans, and we've already got vaccinations, which is nice as well. Uh, another one was a new stock exchange. Okay. We can't do anything to really help any uh, particular thing here. But one thing I'd like to do. Yes, we're, uh, we've done well in terms of one of our action points. Uh, labor laws been implemented. One for investment and unhappiness targets down by 10%. Uh, we have increased our score. Pause for the moment. I'm going to do some diplomacy and get a little bit better with these guys in terms of relations. Because I'd love to be part of their kind of thing. Um, our country could use some general development, introduce a combat tactic center. Could do so. Increase our military. I'm going to go over now on that. But I'll definitely do the, the uh, thing in the military that they wanted me to do. As long as it doesn't cost me money. Which one was it? Uh, blah, 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 I'm trying to find where it, Where's the close button? Not that one, but... Ah, down here. Sorry. <laughs> uh... 
The combat tactic centers. Combat tactic centers. This one needs some more action points. Okay. And that's a lot of money. And we need to increase in terms of our brain power. Maybe go for that one. Yeah, I'm not going to go anywhere near the military at the moment. This one? Nope, it's got a bit more maintenance that I would have wanted. Um, yep, or, or this one. Da, da, da. Population growth. No, we don't need more population growth, so I'm fine going with the uh, internal politics stuff. But we are slowly developing, and I feel like that's uh, really good for us. See, I know I'm not going to be doing that one, so I'm going to go no on that. May do the Universal Military Service. They just want me to do some more military stuff. Yeah, no, that's not what I'm looking to do. I'd rather get helped <laughs> than um, than help other countries. Maybe I could help like different countries down here. Technically, I could improve. Yeah, let's implement that. That isn't that much money. Neither is that. Increasing with these countries. Yeah, that one's fine as well. It's a bit more expensive than I wanted, but whatever. We're definitely increasing in our GDP, which is really nice as well. Uh, with the world economic situation as well. You've improved relations there. With Nijar and Chad. Perfect, all of them. Oh, one of them was a failure. That's a, that's a shame. Mm -hmm. but yeah, we'll start helping these other countries. More and more we help them, the more and more chance that we get to um, to actually get money from them. So being able to get some income from them would be really beneficial as well. Uh, and now I'm going to be looking to get our economic development up. Hmm. Won't let me uh, just choose for economic development, which is interesting. We're already activating that there. Sector regulators, it only costs action points. Well, we are developing our uh, helping these countries out because they have a lot worse of an economy than I do. And monthly balance is low with high taxes, size of a one, two, two. We are. Oh, no, this is me. 
You won't let me see other countries. Yep, so we got a bit more relations, a little bit additional resources, but we have lost in terms of being able to get a benefit from them, but that is fine. If we wanted them in a block, we'd have to get more military units, which I'd understand. But it's something that I really do not want to go towards. Uh, I guess we're gonna fast forward until uh, until we get a little bit better in some sort of manners. We have got some more problems. Uh, got our next elections coming soon, and we're missing a industry profile. Are we? I guess. I thought this one was our industry profile. I guess I'll activate it soon. Yep, I don't think it's going to be me, but I won't participate in funding. Maybe I will. Yeah. We have got a money shortage, which means we are taking on debt. It's a shame we are taking on loans. Army. Army won't change it. I'll have to do something about a particular project, which would be upsetting. No, that's not good enough. I really wouldn't want to go for the economy ones, so let's see if there's any military ones that I've got. Okay, not that one. We don't have any military ones. Doesn't do much, doesn't do much. Could do that if I wanted to. There's another place to go. Basic health service, secondary schools. It'll have to be both of these two, I believe. We'll have to do. Yeah. Deactivate. Yep. And also deactivate. Just so we can get a positive income. And how much debt do we have? Eight. We can pay off that. There we are. Oh, we have a debt a lot more than eight. Never mind. Uh, there is another war. Uh, there's a riot in Kazakhstan. As well as a war between... Oh, just uh, the, uh, Turkey has a high war mongering level. Yeah, that's fine. Half of the country wants to continue its pro-Western policy. Um, but this is called most nationalistic parts of the country to recall Muslim sentiment of the old... Ottoman Empire. They are calling for Turkey to be rebuilt as an uh, Islamic leader. One way or another, Turkey and the Turkish people will soon have to make their decision. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's fine. I don't see much of a problem. 
we have got a very high um, problem here. I really thought we had the agriculture um, profile, but it looks like we don't. But this uh, modernization is soon going to finish. And we're halfway through building a tourist infrastructure in uh, Gabez. We still have high unemployment, but we have got growth uh, slightly it's just something that we've been dealing with for a very long time which is uh, unfortunate uh, China's also become a fear monger with high uh, war Stock exchange in Iran, nice. Uh, we want to activate this. Luxembourg has declared bankruptcy, damn. Uh, we can increase our tax threshold. Okay, yeah. Funding results. Yeah, China's definitely increased in size since their last scene, and they've made all of this area block uh, this is in a Russia block I believe uh, Kazakhstan's having another war with resistance members seems like they're having a bit of a problem as well but we're going to be continuing to they are now going to be a western country It's just a shame that that they're not going to get the benefit. How do I explain this? Uh, it's a shame that most likely they won't invite me into their block. At least I don't believe they will. Just going to close my door for a moment. There we are. As we are continuing to try and... Uh, well, develop our country into something, anything. <laughs> Lebanon's joined us, uh, Saudi Arabia's. We are getting a benefit in our GDP size, which is also allowing us to, well, to have a, a growth in terms of unemployment. Uh, I'm trying to remember how to increase this determined by GDP per capita so just increasing our GDP will help which is very nice as well I'm not going to be doing any of this military stuff help turn Libya into a democracy how the flip do I do that? Spy operations? Influence political system. Yes. <laughs> I, I guess that's the only way. We've now got negative GDP, I'm, I'm afraid. But that'll be fine for the moment. War between Russia and Estonia. 
Vietnam's left China's block. Um, Turkey's becoming more and more militaristic. Yeah, Russia's winning that war. Definitely Russia is winning that war. There's no way that Russia is not winning that war. <laughs> We're nearly finished in terms of our industry and our international policies, which is amazing as well. have got a nice tax income um, which sometimes going up sometimes going down but that's only Baku to our uh, GDP I believe that did the job I'm not sure we're gonna have to do something soon about it but we have become an industry can we get to services as well We did have to get a little bit of debt to be able to do that, but we could slowly get out of the debt. Because that means we become a service economy, which is actually a lot better than uh, what people believe. That's fine, that doesn't uh, do anything in terms of our uh, costs, which is something that I'll be looking for. Yeah, that's fine. Still trying to make these guys become a democracy, but it would take some time. Darn. That's made our situation even worse. But we still got a benefit overall. Okay. Uh, war between Russia and Lithuania now. Uh, GDP is now going to start increasing again, which is nice. Uh, let us pay more of our debt we'll slowly be doing that which means that we'll get less and less debt costs and become even greater definitely as we're going to be getting into a more service based economy our focus will be getting more service based and therefore we'll get slowly better and better but of course it takes time Still got high unemployment. I'm afraid it's increased more and more due to the fact of that problem that we had. But GDP is going down due to the fact that the world economy is generally going down. But this has got 120 days left uh, and will be the first thing that's finished. Uh, this will increase the province score. It did cost a lot, but, you know. It will increase the... Oh, what do you call it? It will increase the province itself's development. Uh, proposed sanctions against authoritarians. Which is generally being, you know, being better used. Have got negative GDP. I know, you showed me it a moment ago. But, wow, our, our GDP growth is really going down, really, really going down. We've now got that tourist infrastructure that we were looking for. Uh, we're 
Mixture of them with our GDP cave could use. A little bit of action points, increase with Italy, blah blah blah. Yeah, it'll help. Why not? Why not help a little bit for a good friend of ours? That's nice. Sector regulations now. Do that now. There we are. We are now not in any benefit whatsoever in terms of uh, in terms of income. So I'm going to unfortunately crack down on the military and take some of these away. There we are. Because we need to stay afloat. Stock exchange in that country. Romania is now becoming militaristic. Okay, that's very interesting indeed. But we are increasing our services economy and we are... We're paying back our debt slowly and slowly. GDP is starting to rise again. Um, unemployment growth is increasing or decreasing? Um, yes, send a delegation. I know, taking that alone again. We didn't really want to, but we're going to have to. <laughs> Next elections are soon. We are extending the labour laws here to make it a little better for our people. Uh, other stuff we can't do. We're going to do that one next though. Because that will increase our tax. Pay debt. There we are. We have got some unhappy people here. Why wouldn't you fire that person? Russia's become a warmonger. South Korea proposed foreign aid program. Question is, do I count as third world? <laughs> if so, money please. Shame that there's not many people willing to give us investments as such. Unless if there's some over here that I haven't noticed. Because I really want to have some sort of income. <laughs> uh, there's been a change in inv interventionalism, which is fine. Our debt's gone worse, but we can also increase 
attacks. We haven't got long until our services is done. Oh, we're definitely supporting Japan. Definitely. Why do we keep losing monthly balance? Because tax income's going down. And tax income's going down because GDP is going down. And GDP is going down because of the uh, world economy. Malta is declared bankruptcy. Arctic dispute. We have more money shortages. Means we'll have to take more loans. But we've implemented that service, which is nice. So we're going to be going for this one, which will increase our tax income. Uh, then we'll probably may go for this one. No, it needs money and bureaucracy is already there anyway so yeah that doesn't matter that much Libya is now getting worse uh, riot in Turkey could we help in this riot Probably not. Doesn't look like we can. Trade unions. GDP growth goes down. Nope. Population growth. Got maintenance. So nope. None of them could be a benefit to us at the moment. Um... Yeah, sure. That one, oh, maybe. Yeah, have to be this one. And I thought our service economy stuff would be a lot better. But I'm going to say that's the end of the episode. So thank you guys for coming. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Uh, please check out the rest of the videos that we're also doing. So uh, thank you guys for coming. And goodbye.